guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a fill-in haul from Kroger. I spent 77 bucks, and I will jump right in and show you what I picked up. So, I grabbed two bottles of Arm & Hammer um, laundry soap with a digital coupon. These were $2.49 each, so I got the Clean Burst, and then I also got the Free and Clear for Harrison, who is our seven month old baby. I needed some ibuprofen and Howard wanted some corn. These were six for two bucks, but the corn did not look good at all. I only found four that looked halfway acceptable. I got two apple juices um, and these were 99 cents each with a digital coupon. They also had all three colors of grapes on sale for 97 cents a pound, and Howard wanted some green grapes. I got some coleslaw for my egg roll in a bowl. I've been obsessed with those. And um, we actually have what's for dinner videos that come out on Tuesday. So if you're interested in seeing what we eat during the week, definitely check those out. I needed a couple of graham cracker crusts because even though I have still been shopping, I'm still trying to use what I have. So the last graham cracker crust I picked up from Aldi and I did not like it at all. Um, it wasn't sweet and I didn't care for it. So I don't think I've ever tried Kroger brand, but I'm hoping they taste better. So I needed two of those um, because I have some um, like pie mixes, no baked pie mixes in my pantry that I need to use up. Going back here, Howard needed some milk and this was 99 cents. Um, last time I went to Kroger, I told you they didn't have the 16 ounce containers of sour cream, so I had to buy the eight ounce. Well, today they had the eight ounce, I'm sorry, the 16 ounce on sale for two, I think it was 216, 219, something like that. But the eight ounces were on sale for a dollar. And wouldn't you know, they didn't have the eight ounces today, which I would have stocked up on because it was a better deal. So anyway, I needed some sour cream. And then um, these were $1.49 each, but I did not mean to get the dough sheet. I actually meant to get the crescent rolls, but that's fine. So I got that. And then I just grabbed a big um, bag of the Frito Scoops because like I said, trying to use up stuff in my pantry. One of the things that I have a lot of are different dips and, or mixes, I should say, dip mixes. And that's why I bought the sour cream. So needed some scoops for the different dips. And then they also had a digital coupon for Wonder Bread um, buns, loaves, and I'm sorry, hot dog buns, hamburger buns, and just loaves of bread. And I grabbed the very last bag of hot dog buns. These were $1.49 and we're planning on grilling out. Um, last few times I have been to Kroger, they have been out of these frozen bell peppers and onions chopped. And so I found when the pandemic first started, I wasn't able to get to the grocery store and get stuff that I needed. So these came in really handy. So I just wanted some more for the freezer because I think going into this fall season, winter season, I think things are going to get pretty bad again. So I'm just trying to stock up on things now. I got some flour tortillas. This 10 pack of flour tortillas was a uh, dollar. And so were these chopped vegetables. Uh, Kroger chopped vegetables were a dollar as well. So I got some of these tortillas for Howard because he likes to make um, like breakfast um, tacos and burritos, stuff like that. So that's why I got those. Harrison needed some baby food. I'm planning on making his baby food, but I'm still trying to figure out what he likes. So I got him some green beans, some apples. I know he likes those. I got him some sweet corn and green beans and sweet potatoes. So I got him some of those. And these were on sale for a dollar each. And then if you bought 10, they were $7. So I got 10 of these jars of baby food for $7. Um, I needed two cans of broth for a recipe that I'm going to be trying out, beef broth, I should say, for a recipe. And this can of crushed tomatoes is for that same recipe. Uh, I went to the grocery store hungry, and so I grabbed these two bars of peanut M&M candy bars. And these things are really good. Um, the chocolate tastes a lot creamier than 
the traditional M&M's milk chocolate. I mean, it's just good. And Howard, who's not even a chocolate person, really likes these bars. So I got one for him and one for me because I didn't want to get one and share. And they had their chicken on sale for 99 cents a pound. So their drumsticks were on sale and their chicken thighs were on sale as well. And I do have a food saver that my mom got me and I have not used it, it's been in the closet. But like I said, I'm trying to stock up now. So when I'm done recording this video, I'm gonna get that food saver out of my closet and I'm gonna try to, um, you know, use it for this chicken, keep it fresher. And then I picked up some ribs. These were $1.77 a pound. We're gonna be grilling out here pretty soon. So I got ribs. And then I also got us uh, some um, chicken wings and these were on sale for, I think they were like $7.99 or something like that. So Tyson was actually cheaper than Kroger's brand of the same wing section. So I went ahead and got these. And then the last thing that I picked up was pasta. Now we do have a lot of pasta, but again, like I said, I'm just trying to stock up on stuff like this. And so with a digital coupon, I got these bags of pasta for 69 cents each. So I got three fettuccine, I got one texaroni, and they're just shaped like the state of Texas. We live here in Texas, of course, you know, Texas is a very proud state. So I got some texaroni. And then I've never seen this before, Trio Italiano. And so it's just a trio of different types of pasta in the same bag. So it looks like uh, like the shell pasta, the penne, and then the, um, what is the other one? The squiggly one, I can't think of it right now. But anyway, so this is everything that I picked up from my Kroger haul and just wanted to share it with you guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not joined our YouTube family, I certainly hope you'll, hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.